At 18, Chief Justice John Weimer shared a set of paints with his brother, and from then on, what he calls his doodles have taken off. While Justice Weimer chose to pursue public office as his career, he still incorporates his creativity every day at the Supreme Court. I uh, find myself in a lot of meetings, and sometimes I uh, just need to be present and, and listen. I, I can walk and chew gum at the same time, and I can doodle and listen carefully and attentively at the same time also. <laughs> Weimer showing his creativity in office has more benefits than just effective listening. Weimer explains that it has helped him connect with people on a completely different level. And I believe it demonstrates that all of us who are public servants are not just one dimensional, that we have a life outside of our work life. These paintings have interested so many, Weimer has had the opportunity to donate three to four hundred prints a year to various festivals, charities, fire departments, and even churches. These prints have raised over a hundred thousand dollars during Weimer's time in office, having one print sell for over eight hundred dollars alone. Even with these numbers, Weimer stays humble in his abilities. Well, I would be a starving artist, probably. I don't, I don't flatter myself by saying that I'm an artist. I uh, prefer to say I paint. As a painter, Weimer showcases various landscapes from southern Louisiana, many times sites and structures that have now been lost due to natural disasters and coastal erosion. But I called it scenes I have seen, and it's primarily scenery from the Foch Parish, Terrebonne Parish, and the immediate area. A lot of people were touched by that. Indeed, many people have been touched by the love for Louisiana that Chief Justice John Weimer expresses every day, not just in the Supreme Court, but also in his artwork. For Tiger TV, I'm Elizabeth Richwine.